You know, I really need to stop accidentally martyring myself for you guys. You see, I'm going to jump on the bandwagon here and engage in the group punch-up of YouTube's answer to the question, why shouldn't I smoke crack while pregnant? Milo Stewart. Ugh. That said, let's see what the little Nimrod's regurgitating today, shall we? Cute and canny. More than is one out of many. Snip snoxious. Fuck that intro's obnoxious. Good morning, easily offended millennials. Hey there, you mentally stunted little freak. A lot of people online have told me that I am in a cult. I highly doubt that. I mean, I've personally seen more comments saying that you're full of so much shit you might need some x lax but I've never seen them say you're actually in a cult. Supposedly this cult is around trans people, but normally when they talk about the trans cults, they mean non-binary and or non-passing trans people. Non-binary trans people doesn't make fucking sense because they're called trans people because they're going from male to female or female to male. And that's what a passing trans person is as well. That's a person who gets higher than a C grade on their transgender quiz. So now you know. Not like the entire trans community. I don't know how anyone can non-ironically say that I'm in a cult, but I'm going to either prove them right or wrong today by taking the Am I in a cult quiz. I don't know how anyone can keep using the term non-binary or non-gender binary and expect people to take them seriously, but there you go. Which consists of 15 questions that will tell me whether or not I'm in a cult. So, let's do this thing. God, that face just gets fucking more punchable the closer you zoom in. And obviously online quizzes, as we all know, are the most effective way of telling whether something's true or not. I mean, just the other day I passed a quiz with flying colors where I answered 20 basic questions on Generation 1 Pokemon and it told me I'm a Pokemon master. I mean, I already knew I was the very best like no one ever was, but hey, just needed to rub it into the rest of these non-binary Pokemon trainers, you know. The non-binary trainers that only believe there are six gens when there's 12. Have you noticed that the group ideas have filtered into all areas of your life? Work, social, personal life. I'm gonna have to say yes for this one because if I am uh, looking to work in a space, I want to make sure that it is friendly for non-binary people, or at least that I'm not going to feel alienated in that environment. And, of course, my non-binary identity affects my personal and social lives because I come out to people and thus have to explain my identity to people. Come out to people is what? You can't come out to people when you're not gay and you're not legitimately trans. See, I, I have more to say on this point, but I'll let you continue your regurgitative spewing and I'll tell you exactly why I don't consider you to be legitimately trans. When I am in social situations, I pick up on when people are reinforcing the gender binary because now that I know that gender is not binary, it's really, really easy to see how far the idea of the gender binary is perpetrated. See, you know there are more than two genders. It's funny because you don't look like you come from a culture where it's treated like there are more than two genders. Here's a little lesson for you, Milo, if you're watching my video. The Samoan culture, for example. They have a third gender, which is known as Fafa Fine. And that is essentially when someone is raised to be neither male nor female, but to take a neutral role in between. That comes with its own set of challenges, and those were explained to me by my friend Chad. Thank you for that, Chad. But, as I say, Milo, you don't appear to be from one of these cultures. And as it stands, you claim you're not a female, you claim you're a male, you claim to use male pronouns, yet you say you're non-binary. Uh, yet fucking bullshit. 
being full of it and being legitimately transgender are two different things. Have your friends or family commented that you have changed? No, no, not, not really, no. Of course, now that people in my life know that I identify as non-binary, their perceptions of me may have changed. Yeah, I would say their perceptions probably haven't changed. They've probably always thought you're a complete weirdo. And now they know you're a complete weirdo. So, yeah. But I've always been pretty involved in LGBT activism before I even came out. I was like super supportive of marriage equality when Iowa was trying to pass that in like, what, 2008 or something? So I was like, 10? You personally tried to get marriage equality passed when you were 10? Fuck, that's a pretty early age to get elected into politics. Well done, Junior. Have you noticed that you spend less and less time with your family and other friends and more and more time with the group? I don't spend any less time with my family. My friend group has changed over time. I think part of that is just being a kid and a teenager and most of your friends don't stick around forever. That's weird. I'm still friends with a lot of people that I was friends with when I was a teenager in high school and whatnot. So maybe it's not just changing and growing, maybe it's just people got fed up with your bullshit. Yeah, I would say it's more than likely people got sick of your bullshit. And coming out can also affect my friend group, because friends have deserted me when I came out to them. That wasn't necessarily a conscious choice on my part. You didn't come out! There is nothing different about you! You can say you identify as a non-binary boy. This non-binary bullshit doesn't exist. It's a fucking invention of Tumblr. And you are a girl. Everything about you screams girl. You were born a girl. You look like a girl. You dress like a girl. You wear makeup like a girl. You have done literally nothing to come across as a male. Everything about you says girl. Except for that haircut, which says you see Stevie Wonder to get your hair done. Do you find it boring or awkward spending time with people outside the group because they seem boring? Or they don't understand the language of the group? I'm gonna say yes with this one because I do think it's sort of exhausting to hang out with people who are not educated on gender. Because then I may have to do a lot more explaining of my identity or people may ask me more questions about my identity, which is fine. It's just exhausting. People ask questions because people want justification. People want to understand exactly what the fuck non-binary means, or what the fuck you're prattling about when you say, I'm a boy, when you literally do nothing to convince them of anything other than you're a girl. That's why people want explanations. Your average Joe Bloggs doesn't understand the terminology of fucking Tumblr. So that's why they ask you these questions. The only ones who will fucking understand whatever the fuck you're prattling about are people like myself who spent enough time on the internet to know this shit. Or other Tumblrites. Do you believe that outsiders are not on the same level as you? Let me answer this one for you. No, you are not on the same level as Scott Hall and Kevin Nash. They're here, you're here. Capiche Jr. for life. And other group members. Although I may joke about leveling up because of learning things about gender, that is a joke and it's meant to be not serious. So, no, I don't actually think that I'm better than anyone just because I'm non binary or I know that gender is not binary. Motherfucker, are you kidding? Your entire video history is you implying or flat out saying you are better than anybody else who doesn't believe in your namby-pamby fairy world tumblr bullshit. The video that pretty much everyone knows you from is that fucking stupid video where you call anyone who doesn't identify with your magic bag of labels sexist, racist, homophobic, transphobic, whatever phobic. Are you so fucking stupid you can't even keep up with your own play? Seriously, Milo?
Do you believe that the group ideas and beliefs are the way forward in sorting out the problems of the world? Education on how gender is not binary could fix a few problems, but it's not going to sort out the problems of the world. So, no for this question. You know, you keep going on about this non-binary thing like you're trying to convince yourself you're not full of shit. Seriously. That may actually, though, be the only thing I agree with you on thus far. Have you thought that if only everyone knew this stuff, the world would be a different place? I'm gonna say yes with this one, because I don't think that teaching about non-binary genders can really affect the whole world, but I think including conversations about gender, and specifically non-binary genders in sex ed, could do a lot to change our educational system and how people go through questioning processes. I think there would be a lot less hate and self-doubt when people were coming out if this stuff was taught in schools. For the love of jumping Jesus and all that is fucking holy. Milo, this non-binary shit is a product of Tumblr. I had not heard of any of this before I knew of Tumblr, I generally do not hear of it anywhere else. It's not taught in schools, it's not taught anywhere else, it's not backed up by science, because it is not based in fact. For fuck's sake, honestly. No, it won't make a change in the world, because it's hard to make change in the world when you are trying to convince people that something that doesn't exist exists. It's like going into school and teaching people about the Dragon Balls. I wish they were real, but they're not. Has someone close to you told you that they think you are in a cult? No, only people online who don't know me at all tell me that I'm in a cult. So why don't you educate them on yourself? You know, maybe make some videos that aren't, Hey, everyone who isn't me sucks. Fuck you. Look at me being as obnoxious as humanly possible. There's a way forward, Milo. You go on about education and shit, okay? Yet, I see you doing absolutely nothing to educate people. I see a whole lot of blaming and finger pointing. I see no attempts at education. So, no. When you ask yourself, am I in a cult? You would think straight away, of course not. I would never join a cult. I would not join a cult, so yeah, that's a yes. There's really not much to say to this one. If someone criticizes the group or the principles, do you have to explain why they are wrong? No, if I did that every time someone criticized the existence of non-binary genders, I would literally do nothing else with my life. Again, I direct you to your other videos. It pretty much is your whole life. Your back catalog of videos is pretty much you trying to tell people who think you're full of shit they're wrong. And you don't just do it in, I think you're wrong, here's why, it's, you're a cunt because you're not one of us. You're full of shit. Do you find yourself recommending the group's activities or principles for many different types of problems? No, really the only thing that educating about non-binary genders can do is help people who are confused about their gender. No, it wouldn't help them because they need a heavy dose of reality, not a heavy dose of Tumbleritis. That's why we would educate. Do you feel like you know more than outsiders about life, about people, about the world? I'm gonna say yes, because learning about non-binary genders involves a lot of history of non-binary genders. What fucking history? Unless, as I said before, we're talking about cultures like Samoan culture or other cultures we're in, they have more than two traditional genders. They have an alternate third gender that exists within that culture. You know, we are talking about the history of a bunch of shit, a bunch of fat kids in basements made up. For attention. It's Tumblr. That's what you people do. Across cultures, and it's an aspect of the humanity that people don't really acknowledge all the time. Have people said that you are pushy or obsessive about the group? Only people online... So, yes? Yeah, again, 
That's because that's all you do. You push your annoying fucking beliefs on people. Because people have told me that? But they also say things like, gender is biological in the same sentence, so... Yeah, fuck us people with our scientifically based fact. God damn it. Is there a strong urgency to explain the benefits of the group and its activities to those who are critical? No, like I said, I don't really like wasting a lot of my time trying to prove the existence of non-binary genders. No, you'd rather spend your time criticizing those that know they don't exist and that you're talking out of your ass more than they spend to a pet detective. And we also don't have group activities. Then what do you call your online Tumblr circle jerking? Sounds like group activity to me. So, no. Do you ever feel bad or guilty for not behaving as a group says you should? No, a lot of people tell me that I'm not being trans the right way or I should act differently if I want to be taken seriously as a trans person and I really don't care what they say. Cool, okay. And you, you expect people to give a fuck about your opinion. That's the thing, Milo. When we say you aren't being trans the right way, we mean it in the sense that there is nothing trans about you. You are what we call a trans trender. You are doing it for attention. If you want people that actually accurately represent the transgender community, Jocelyn Fisher, Blair White, Alex Marie. Three people off the top of my head that represent the transgender community a fuck ton better than you do. Let's, let's find out my results. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, this is what it says. That you're a fucking idiot, you should get rid of everything electronic that you own and you should move to an Amish community for the rest of your entire existence? You're a hippie. We can work with that. You have six points for 15 questions. You are 60% pure. 60% pure, just like the myth your mother smoked while she was pregnant. The average of surfers were 38% pure. So, I guess that means that I'm not in a cult. Cool. Good to know. <laughs> I don't think people think this argument through because, like, if I was in a cult, who would be the leader? Like, there's not very many well-known trans celebrities who aren't super well-passing. I don't know any trans celebrities who are non-binary. You just wasted fucking seven minutes of everybody's time to convince them that no, you're not part of a cult based on internet criticism. You're a fucking moron. And as for the whole no non-binary trans celebrities, that's because non-binary trans is a fucking oxymoron, you idiot. As I keep telling you. Fucking hell. How does someone get this stupid? I, I would legitimately like to know. I would legitimately be interested. All myth jokes aside, I would legitimately be interested. Off the top of my head, so... Not in a cult. Cool. Good to know. Thank you, Test, for revealing the truth. Thank you for watching. Peace! The only truth that revealed is that you like to make shit videos that waste everybody's fucking time. If it revealed the truth, it would say that you're an attention-seeking fuckwit and that your parents wish they'd gotten you aborted. I'm pretty sure most of YouTube wishes that they had. You're a fucking idiot, Milo. Stop uploading content. Or alternatively, if you don't want to stop uploading content, upload better content. Because at the moment, the content you upload is shit and just indicates you're a complete fucking moron who doesn't get enough attention at home and needs a few more hugs from mummy and daddy. Peace! I'm Damien Skyfire in a much meaner mood than usual. Till next time.